Hi y'all, this is Tanya Meadows with Apple Tree Homeschool Academy and I'm really excited because I've been wanting to do this video for a while. I want to share with you how we work our spelling um, assignments during the homeschool week. And on the first day, we do a oral spelling quiz. Now when my daughter was younger, we did a written quiz and this was a pre-quiz and uh, we've since switched over to just doing this section this activity orally um, in the very beginning of the lesson so this is a printable worksheet it is offered by Macmillan McGraw Hill I don't know if that will come in focus for you I'll try to show you that in a minute but this is a free printable that you can get online at National Treasures and it's through Macmillan McGraw Hill Publishers okay and this is a sample of the grade 5 okay so what they have is a section here well the child could fold this back and you read the, letter, the words to them and then they can open it up and see the correct spelling if you'd like however that's not how we do it what I do is I take a paper cutter and I cut this off in a strip and what I have is this sheet and I used to have my daughter keep this section and write her words on it but like I said from no anymore we just use this for an oral quiz so what I do is I have this piece right here in my hands and I'll write usually the date and I'll put a little note oral quiz up at the top and I gave myself room to write additional notes for another oral quiz later in the week and then a test on a third day. So what I do is as she missed words I take a yellow highlighter take a yellow highlighter and just go ahead and highlight any words that she's missed. Okay and so then what we do is after the quiz is over I take I have my daughter take some colored markers and some blank or lined index cards and we like to use the back side um, of the index cards and this quiz she missed three so she takes the correct spelling I'll hand her this list here and she can um, copy the words over onto the index cards now just the ones that are in yellow are the only ones that she will be practicing for the week okay and she uses color because that helps maintain memory now either that night or later on in the week say the second day each day I give her about three words that she's missed and she practiced writing those three uh, ten times each. So I want to show you how we store these and the organizational method. What I do is I have different stacks. This stack is fronted with an uh, like a hot pink color, meaning red for stop and green for go. Now what we do is any words that she's missed okay goes behind the this hot pink color and any words that she's practicing goes here until she learns them so that after she's done writing these on the note cards the first day then they just go into our practice pile okay then what I do is I pick out three cards a day and she writes those ten times each once she's mastered the spelling of her practice cards then it gets filed behind the sections called knows she knows these and this is a good way of seeing how much and visualizing how many words she has accomplished okay this also can be used for review you can go back through these um, from time to time and see if she still knows them okay and then what happens is this is 
a previous grade and this is the current grade and then this is the practice. I also keep blank cards in the back so we just pull this out this whole little uh, index um, card holder and uh, I just pull this out when it's time to do our spelling and we'll choose a few uh, extras from previous lessons that she's still learning um, now um, and we'll add that to her um, writing ten times each so she'll just get a blank piece of paper and a pencil and this is a sample of how she just now she chose and this on this one she chose to write the word smoky an, an additional ten times because she chose to uh, put in extra work. Now part of the Macmillan McGraw Hill free printables it's a whole workbook online and it's a practice book and these are some sample pages they have a spelling section in the practice book some sample pages of spelling but then they have a whole additional um, spelling book that you can workbook that you can print off and um, you can only you can print off only the ones that you're really interested in so in other words this one is assignment of uh, writing your spelling words in alphabetical order okay this one is choose a word from the box that completes each sentence so that would be vocabulary now the vocabulary is separate and different words than the spelling okay they may not be the exact same words hello mister stinkbug Okay.